Guys, welcome back. We are your office for Kinetic. I'm Greg here, Raymond. And I'm Sleepy Lass. He is sleeping. But we're going to make this quick. This could be a very fast video. We're going to talk about backstories and the importance of having a character with a very strong backstory. You mean the story that's their past? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. For because people that didn't know what a backstory is. Right, right, right. Their history, what happened in the past, how they grew up. Why they're, why they're here in the story right now. Yeah, you need to be able to fall in love with the character. And in order to do that, you got another backstory. Example! Example! Who has a very good backstory? Um, I mean, we were just talking about... Not too about, complicated, no. <laughs> not too complicated. We were just talking about how Marvel has more unique backstories than DC. So many times in DC, a character with superpowers or becomes a superhero, your parents are dead. Batman, parents dead. Superman, parents dead. And even one of his foster parents are dead. <laughs> Flash's parents are dead. Green Arrow's parents are dead. Green Lantern, he's a bounty man. Actually, his father did die. Testing a, a jet pilot, a there jet fighter. So uh, the Hulk? Died. No one knows. But he's Marvel, and we don't know his parents died because Marvel doesn't take well, that, if you look at that if you look at that like, 2003 Hulk movie. No, we don't count his it. His father. We don't count it at all. <laughs> but that's what we mean, like, Marvel doesn't take that easy way out of, let's just kill the parents. Nope. Um, Even though a lot of Marvel superheroes do have their parents dead, Tony Stark, Peter Parker, um, can't think of any more. Technically speaking, Wolverine. I mean, but he's like 500 years old. Yeah, but he killed his, uh, his stepfather, and his father died right before he killed him. I mean, that's how his claws manifested. Go read the, the Marvel website. Yeah, they're gonna get around on that. <laughs> and um, what about Marvel? Who has a very cool backstory? I really, I mean, we talked about this video not too long ago, but The Sentry has a really cool backstory. Um, so I recommend checking out The Sentry. And I mean, if you think of the Fantastic Four super um, backstory, my apologies, um, they were just, you know, a scientist who mm -hmm. does a lot of studies for space and all that good goodness. Right. Right. right? His best friend. Um, his love interest and his love interests, love interests, love interests, <laughs> uh, brother who was also a bit of a scientist, all went up in the spaceship to do a lot of research, got hit with uh, cosmic rays, mm -hmm. they became all superhero powered beings. Exactly. So, not, a, not like a real in depth backstory, but now that they have these powers, they get to do stuff to help mankind, you know, through science and their ability, so. And not to mention the stop, um, Victor Von Doom. Yes, he is also a really good uh, villain right now. And he was always jealous of Reed Richards and his scientific accomplishments. Actually, in the Converg Convergence series that's coming out right now, where all the worlds are like smashing into each other, he's like the main villain. He, he always is the main he's villain. He's like God. If you look at the Marvel, the Marvel Ultimate Universe game, the first one, he was the main villain who found out a way to extract Odin's power and use it as his own. I love how he's always so underplayed, but they always make him like such he a is, badass. He is a badass. You know why? Because he's just chilling in Latveria all day. He's all like, mind my own business, I got my own little country. Mm -hmm. And then Reed Richards is like, or like Spider-Man accidentally invades Latveria and then he gets angry. It's funny that you brought up Spider-Man because he actually is one of those, my parents are dead. But like, it is, does happen. Is his parents like actually dead though? Cause like, yeah, they're if you if you look at different backstories, like the Amazing Spider-Man reboot from 2010, his parents died, and then his uncle died. So he, he was kind of like that that Superman thing where you both your parents die, and then one of your foster parents dies. So he's like kind of on par with Superman. They'll both wear red and blue too. They're the same mm. character. They're That's the same right. character. Although Superman definitely could have saved his uh, stepfather or foster parent in the Man of Steel. Man of Steel. <laughs> when Kevin Costner was just like. <laughs> but in <laughs> he the just watches. in the original backstory of Superman, his father dies of a heart attack, and there's nothing he can do. Yeah. Um, I mean, by now I'd say that Connected First Alliance has been out long enough. Where don't you think our, our fans know? Our character's backstory. Is, is it even a spoiler if we say? Because one of our characters does have the whole. I mean, backstories aren't a spoiler alert. If anything, you can skip that chapter when you get to it. Right. I mean, backstory you can find, you know, on our bios page that's on Facebook. That's right. That's right. That's so right. Alex's parents are dead. He accidentally um, set the house on fire when when he was a baby. 
uh, while like his his powers were manifesting. So mm -hmm. he accidentally set the house on fire, and his father and mother were both killed in it, and his grandfather took him in. Um, that's pretty much it. All the other parents are, are alive. No, Christian. Those are spoilers. Okay. Now it's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. <laughs> that ain't no backstory. No, I'm talking about the father. That's a spoiler. How you... is that a spoiler? That is not a spoiler. I'll explain to you how that's a spoiler after this video. Well, please do. No. <laughs> spoiler. Point is... Silly. Uh, yeah, no, all the other ones have parents that are alive, so we, we only use it once. And our characters do have really strong backstories. I am proud of the work that we did with them because we try to make it unique for each character. We didn't just like stick to a group theme. Like everyone has a very specific. Backstory. I mean, Cassie and Dimitri, both their fathers kind of dipped out on them. Just missing. No one knows. We should write that one day. They just come back. Hey, you guys. I am your father. <laughs> no. So that's it. Those are our thoughts on backstories, guys. It needs to be a really well needs to be original original backstory. Just don't kill your, your character's parents. Just like like, like that movie Kick-Ass? <laughs> oh yeah. When <laughs> the Avengers mom, he's like, no, oh, but actually she's just out of brain hemorrhage. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty clever, actually. I like the way they did that. So yeah, just come up with a clever backstory. Um, don't just kill his parents and then he gets super angry that he trains his entire life to become the Batman. Mm -hmm. Or like his parents die and he does the, the world good in the American way, like Superman. You know, make it something like Wolverine, where he mutates and, you know, he gets these things, he gets backlashed by his stepfather and he has to fight back and then, you know, it warps his mind and then as he, as he grows up, he kind of, you know, fights back at it and does the right thing. You know, that's some deep storytelling right there. And hats off to Marvel for that. Hats off to Marvel for that. It's my One Piece hat. Mickey <laughs> Wadoofy. All right, guys. That's... That's it. So, um, as always, thanks for watching. I'm Greg Hero Raymond. And I'm Sleepy Lass. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. <laughs> Later. Bye.